afternoon. Lamanche, ni obi true. Midenche, imanche. Lamanche, ni midenche njo suele. Next door neighbors, they were special welcome. Wahabu ayiko aku, don't tell you gente. Honorable Minister of State, Carlos Ahinkra, the venerable CEO of the Ghana Trade Fair, Board Chairman, all excellencies here present and members of the Diplomatic Corps, all distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. We are here because of the theme industrializing Ghana and creating jobs. And in order to achieve that, we need to be able to put together certain patterns and we also need to change certain behavior. And the best way to change behavior is not to do the same things, but to do things differently. And one of the best ways to do things differently is by learning from other attitudes and other people who have done the same. And one of the countries who has moved from where we are at present and are where we want to get to is India. I want to start by sharing the same sentiment as the CEO of the One District One Factory to say that the initiative by the president of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, is very timely. Timely because in order to create jobs, we need to industrialize. And the best way to do that is to be able to decentralize it into the various districts so that we can stop the rural urban migration in this country. As Ghana's envoy to India, I've been very surprised by the accelerating stride India is taking in its economic development, especially since the assumption of office of Prime Minister Modi. On assumption of duty, Prime Minister Modi adopted several policy initiatives such as Made in India, which is one of the sub-themes of what the CEO for Ghana Trade Fair has adopted. So for those of you who will be coming with your families, friends, loved ones from tomorrow onwards, we want to as much as possible see you wearing Made in Ghana. I saw a friend of mine here today, I won't mention his name, and he was wearing a fantastic suit. So I asked him, I said, my brother, are you supposed to be in a suit today? He said, the suit is made in Ghana. I said, okay, that's fine. So for all of you wearing suits, I hope your suits are made in Ghana. The Make in Ghana strategy has to be blended with looking at the example of Make in India, which not only encourages large-scale manufacturing, but takes into consideration the small and medium enterprises to make the growth process more inclusive. And this was also along the line of what the Association for Ghana Industries president alluded to. We also want to see, for example, Startup India, which is an initiative based on the following three pillars. One, simplification and hand-holding, funding, support, and incentives, and industry academia, partnership and incubation. By industry academia, we mean where the universities and the labor market come together to create curriculum that would make our graduates ready for the job market. And by incubation, we mean having hubs that would allow people to be able to bring the ideas together and be able to create things that we need for the market. For example, technology. Stand Up India 
is also a scheme for financing underprivileged women entrepreneurs. This is something that we as a country are doing and we need to even consider it more and look at some of the examples and the objectives that have been used in India. For example, the Stand Up India scheme is to facilitate bank loans between 15,000 US dollars and 150,000 150, US dollars to at least one underprivileged borrower, i.e. or woman, and this must be done per bank, per branch. This is very important. And when the CEO of the One District, One Factory spoke, she mentioned the Exim Bank, she mentioned the Ghana Commercial Bank, and a few private banks as well. So when I invited her to India, in fact, I invited her, but I knew that business without finance is not going to work. So we invited the Exim Bank as well, and we invited Ghana Commercial Bank. And so the advice is, these banks should look at helping people per branch, per bank. So that when you do that per branch, we're assuming that per branch means per district, and the one district, one factory, would even take off in a better way because the ideas and the finance will be amalgamated. Ladies and gentlemen, India, with its attributes as a developed nation and expertise in medium and small scale industrialization, becomes a natural partner to Ghana in this venture. Also, Ghana provides a suitable gateway in West Africa and beyond for investment interests of all the various countries who have an outward growth strategy. Therefore, Ghana and all the various countries who are interested in coming to Ghana are invited to look at the various industries that we have and come in as partners. I am of the view that the operators of the one district, one district, one factory will achieve their targets if they adopt some of the modules underpinning the policies that we have seen in India. So that Ghana will be the beneficiary of this prosperous bilateral relationship. God bless Ghana. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your attention.